For the first time, scientists say there may be signs of life on Venus. It exists in tiny molecules in the atmosphere. Researchers don't know how it got there or what it means, but it's drawing new attention to Earth's nearest planetary neighbor. As Holly Williams reports, it's a world that couldn't be more different. Its surface is hot enough to melt lead, and it's cloaked in clouds of toxic gas. But scientists now believe something could be alive on Venus, or actually just above it. Professor Sara Seeger, along with a team of international scientists, spotted a molecule called phosphine in the planet's atmosphere using giant telescopes. Finding phosphine, it really leaves us with two equally crazy ideas. One is that there is some unknown chemistry. And the other one is that there's some possibility there might be some kind of life producing phosphine on Venus. On Earth, phosphine is produced by bacteria and sometimes smells like rotting fish. An unromantic discovery on the planet named after the Roman goddess of love. <laughs> Venus was the subject of much early space exploration, but the sulfuric acid in its atmosphere literally eats through spacecraft. Go Mars 2020. And focus switch to Earth's other neighbor. I like to think of Venus sometimes like as the neglected sibling. What, why neglected? Because so much attention is on Mars. That could now change with a tantalizing discovery that might be a sign of life. For CBS This Morning, I'm Holly Williams. Do you feel oh, like neglected Venus? Yeah, yes, yes. I'll, I'll be <laughs> Venus today. You remember that book, Men Are From Mars, you Women Are From Venus? Venus. Right. Who knew they were competing? Yeah. Who, knew, who knew that Mars and Venus were competing? But something's going on up yeah, there. Yeah, something's going on, although I don't think I'll be moving there anytime nope. soon. No, no, me neither. Not I, I like if it, it eats through, the atmosphere eats through spacecraft. It smells like dead fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs>